In this short module, we will introduce the library panel, its use and setup with both project and installed libraries. We will talk about installed libraries first and then look at the project libraries. The installed libraries are located under the Altium tool install directory as such. These two libraries are installed by default with Altium. One is called Miscellaneous Connectors, and the other is Miscellaneous Devices. These libraries are integrated libraries, as they have the intlib or intlib file extension. Integrated libraries contain both schematic symbols and their corresponding PCB footprints. Clicking on the Library tab to open up the panel, we can look at the current active libraries. This panel has a number of buttons. The Libraries, Search, and Place buttons. The Placement option is only active when there is an open schematic sheet or a PCB file. We would use this button to place a component in the active schematic sheet. Opening up a schematic, we can see that the Place button option becomes active. Continuing to look at the Library panel buttons, the Libraries button is used to manage the libraries within Altium. Clicking on it opens up a pop-up window for available libraries. There are three tabs we can choose on this window. We will address the Project and the Installed tabs in this lesson. The Project tab shows all the current project's libraries. In this example, we see the three types that are listed in the Project panel under the Project's Libraries folder. These are the Schematic Library with the extension schlib, the PCB Footprint Library with the extension PCBLib, and the 3D Body Library with its extension PCB3DLib. These project libraries are locally available for this project. Using project-centric libraries is one way to ensure that when the project is handed off either to another design group or between a consultant and a company, that the library does come with the project. This allows the project to be completely standalone. There is an option to add or remove libraries from the project file. Clicking on the Add Library button opens a window that can be used to locate and add a particular library. We won't add any at this point, but note that there are a number of library types that can be added. Likewise, if you select a library file entry, you can remove it using the Remove button. This does not delete the file, just the reference to it in the library panel. Moving to the Installed tab shows us all of the current installed libraries available. These libraries may be local to the machine or on a company server. The key is, these libraries are available for use in all projects. The order of the files are significant. If, and that's a big if, you have multiple libraries with components named the same. Again, not really a good idea, but it does happen. When this happens, the first library in the order containing the name component is the one that will be used. This has caused confusion and should be avoided, either by removing duplicate libraries, first by selecting the one that is a duplicate and then using the Remove button, or unchecking the activated box in this window. If neither of these options can be used, for example, you need all of the libraries for some specific components, the order of the libraries can be modified using the Move Up and Move Down buttons as shown. This way you can properly select the right component. Clicking Close will close the window and return us to the library panel. Searching the libraries for a particular component is easy. There are two ways to do this. The first one that I recommend is to use the component's name or part of it. Enter the component name into the window, adding either a generic asterisk wildcard or a single quote character wildcard as needed. For example, in the miscellaneous devices library, which we have selected using the pull-down menu, we can start typing A and then D, and you will see these components that start with these letters start to show up in the listing. One important thing to remember, reset this field to asterisk in order to be able to see all of the other library components. The second search method uses the search button. This opens up a library search window with a lot of searching options. The nice feature with this method is that it looks at all of the available libraries, and not just the currently opened one. So when you're not sure where a component is, but you know its name, you can use this to find it. Typing in 2 and N, and then hitting the search button will show us all the components that start with 2N and the library they are in. There are a lot of possible search criteria, and I would encourage you to explore this feature. 
especially if you have large libraries and are trying to find one component. One subtle thing to mention is the Library Panel drop-down menu is now set to Query Results. To get back to the general library view, click on the pull-down menu and select the library that you wish to view. In this module, we introduce the Library Panel along with Project and Installed Libraries. We showed how to install and remove libraries, as well as how to search for a particular component in them. In a later module, we will cover library generation in greater detail.